This is Benjamin Cabe from the Eclipse Foundation. I'm here today at Eclipse Conference in Toulouse with Christian Lam from CR Wireless and I'm on the CR Wireless booth and there is a greenhouse demo. Crystal, can you maybe quickly introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about this demo? Yes, Benjamin. Thank you. And uh, my name is Crystal Lam. I work for Sierra Wireless. Um, today um, I have uh, set up a greenhouse demo here. Um, it is a simulated uh, company called Eclo. Um, a botanical company uh, who has uh, many uh, greenhouses uh, in several countries in uh, Europe and we show how they use, uh, how they can use AirVantage M2M Cloud to uh, manage their greenhouses. Uh, we can see they have um, greenhouses in different locations and in each of them they want to monitor the humidity of the soil, the luminosity and the temperature. And here we can uh, see there are two different ways among many other ways to send the center data to our server. Um, one way is, for example, we have an open Picus um, fly port. It is an open hardware with uh, a PIC, a um, very small microprocessor on it, and it sends the sensor data in MQTT through a GPRS uh, Sajamcom modem to our server. So this card is very low power consuming and um, I've heard that it can last for six months uh, based on battery power. So this is a very simple way to connect sensor data. If uh, someone wants to um, make uh, more automation locally, they can write an embedded application and use uh, a gateway like this Zero Wireless um, GX uh, 3G gateway. But anyway, when the data comes to from whatever network they would like to, um, when we uh, receive uh, all the data on our platform, we can see them here, for example, using the dashboard to see the location and to look at the, the status of uh, the float the fleets of the um, of the of all the greenhouses in the field, um, like the signal strength, the communication status, the deployment um, status. For example, I'm interested in uh, to find out which uh, device is using the Alios um, um, firmware. In that case, I can click on this pie chart here, and then it will show me which uh, device. Actually, I've clicked into. Yes, application firmware revision. So all these device, th this list of devices, um, using the filter, I've uh, received uh, this list of devices, and I can um, remotely uh, use the UI to say uh, upgrade the firmware and to install a new version of the application uh, onto all this machine. Um, since uh, the communication is two-way, two uh, we can receive and send out the commands remotely. So we can help uh, uh, a clue company to uh, manage their uh, machines uh, without uh, having to send out uh, a technician to uh, the field every day to each device. And another, way, another thing we can do is, um, I see that there is this device who um, has a communication problem because it's red. And so I can go in to see the details of uh, the uh, communication status of this device and also to look at the historical greenhouse data, temperature, luminosity, and humidity of this device and to find out when it uh, communicated uh, for the last time and, um, and to check out also uh, in details using different view on the UI. And after uh, I have uh, completed um, the development of this M2M solution, if I'm happy about it, I can also feed all this data, uh, temperature and all this greenhouse information into, uh, for example, a mobile application. And so uh, whenever there is a need to water your plants or to, or to uh, open the door of the greenhouse, we can do it through your mobile phone and to complete uh, the, the M2M solution um, using uh, this, uh, using our M2M cloud. And so what kind of protocol are you using between the greenhouse and, and the cloud then? Well, uh, if you're using uh, the Sierra wireless devices, there are um, there is the proprietary protocol like M3DA with this gateway. Okay. But if you are using like um, an open hardware or, or any microprocessor, then you can either use HTTP or MQTT protocol to communicate, uh, send or receive messages with our server. That's pretty cool. So I guess, yeah, that means people can actually connect any kind of devices, right? Not only CR wireless devices to the Yes, exactly. The cloud. Yeah. 
Okay, excellent. Well, thank you, Crystal, for, for this cool uh, demo. Uh, if people want to find out more, if they want to try Advantage, what do they do? Oh, uh, they can uh, come to um, the website of Sierra Wireless. We actually offer a free trial. Um, and uh, you can sign up for a free trial for a six-month uh, period and try to build uh, maybe an M2M solution at home and, and play around uh, using our M2M cloud. Awesome. Thanks, Crystal. Thank you.